I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut, and I'm on the International Space Station. We're currently about 240 nautical miles above the surface of Earth. Space Station is a serious place. We're doing serious research, scientific research and engineering research. We have a regenerative life support system, which is a fancy way of saying that we've got a toilet that you use and then a machine that goes chugga 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 chug and then you go to the galley and you make yourself a cup of coffee. And that's exactly what you are thinking it is. And this is the kind of engineering research that we're doing on Space Station. It's needed so that when we go to Mars, we won't run out of water. And of course, not only would you have angry birds if you ran out of water, you'd have angry human beings too. I want to do some physics demonstrations that involve some of the things you might see in the Angry Birds game. And of course, I've got my angry bird here, but we need a pig. Well, I'm not very good at art. It's a good thing I decided to be a scientist and an engineer instead of an artist, because I'd, I'd probably be starving by now. Okay, here, here is Pig. And of course, Pig is the arch enemy of Angry Bird. And Angry Bird had some eggs. And Pig stole the eggs. And don't ask me how I got the eggs on Space Station. I've got a bungee spread across the hatchway. And this bungee is kind of like a slingshot. And I'm going to show the trajectory that Red Bird is going to have when I fire him with this orbital slingshot. Launching Red Bird into space. Well, hey, we're already in the space. Whoa, look at that, Whoa, all the way down. That's an example of a trajectory. It's a straight line from our perspective here. Gravity will attract an object if it's moving in a straight line, and it will no longer move in a straight line. It gets bent, and it goes in a curved trajectory. And guess what? Astronauts have to worry about these things, because if you're in a rocket, and say you're trying to get from one orbit and rendezvous with space station, you end up going in curved trajectories and you need to know how to fire your rocket engines so that you can go from where you are to where you want to be. And if you understand the math, if you understand the physics, it will allow you to go out and get a neat job. A job sort of like mine, where you're an astronaut and you can fly in space. Learn about these subjects in school you can also learn about these subjects while you're playing games. What happens when something like an angry bird gets their eggs stolen by pig? This is all that's left of pig after pig got exploded. And we got to see all of this in a weightless environment, which is what the Angry Bird space game is going to be like with gravity fields from planetary bodies. 